Good evening, everyone. My name is Dominator, and welcome to our newest segment called Nefarious News, where we discuss the evilest of gaming news, channel updates, and generally anything I feel like that needs to be addressed. Our first news, Bethesda's very own Fallout 76 now has an online subscription known as Fallout First. Now, I know the internet has already talked enough about this, but now you get to hear what you already heard gamers talk about in my own voice with my own two cents. Fallout First is a premium membership aimed at enhancing the Fallout 76 experience, offering members an access to private worlds, unlimited crafting component storage with Scrap Box, a second fast travel point with the Survival Tent, exclusive cosmetics, and best value, 1,650 items each month. That's right, for the low price of $100 or $13 a month, you can play a game that's been out for a year now and is just as worse of a game as you remember. Like, really, Bethesda? You can't be serious. You guys honestly think we're that stupid enough just to give you our money? Why don't I just tell you my credit card information while I'm at it, too? Or I can just take $100 and set it on fire than to pay for something that costs more than PlayStation Plus and Nintendo Online combined. Fallout 76. Really? Fallout 76, with all its constant bugs and glitches, server problems, cosmetics, and let's not forget microtransactions, and you expect us to pay $100 for this shit? At least fix your damn game before you do something this egregious. But instead, Bethesda just comes in with a smoking gun and a blown off foot and says, Wait! I can fix this. And then they aim their gun at the other foot, so... But, say you are stupid. Say you are Bethesda's bitch and your $100 means absolutely nothing and you pay for the online subscription. What happens? Apparently, according to other players, it's broken. It is so bad. It failed at launch. The scrap box that has unlimited storage actually deletes every item you store in it, and the so-called private servers aren't private at all. And I'm pretty sure there are other issues that I didn't want to mention, but wow. Well, I guess they went from blowing off their other foot from just shooting themselves in the head. F*** you, Fallout. And f*** you too, Bethesda. Up next, Broske's current state. Just for those who don't know, Broske is fine. If you followed him on Twitter, you'd know that already. But no, we still get comments like, Is Broske okay? Is Broske okay? Well, in my opinion, who cares? You guys are just gonna keep asking Peridot to play games. But for those who do care and is wondering why Broske hasn't made a video starring him, he said he doesn't want to show himself just yet. If you want, you can follow Broske on Twitter, so link in the description. Or not. Who knows? Who cares? You might never make a video starring him ever again, but on the bright side, at least you have me. More on channel updates. The two redesigns you all so heavily requested are all finished alongside with a new character for the channel. And if you want to see them before anyone else does, be sure to become a Patreon member on Sculptic's Patreon. And I know you hear this a million times, but becoming a Patreon member really helps support the channel. So go ahead, links in the description. And lastly, the state of Aquamarine. You were all wondering if Aquamarine was really getting replaced or not. Well, if you all read the description for the quick question session, you all would know the answer to that already, now would you? But just to save you all the clicks, no, she's not getting replaced. But, Aquamarine is getting a new assistant. Who is the new assistant, you all are asking? You'll find out soon. And that's going to be all the news for tonight. Thank you all so much for listening, and tune in next time for some more nefarious news.